converge on the Metropolitan Government Building. Primary threat localized and contained. Nuclear Tanking. Everyone on your guard. Stay alert. Move to your positions, just as I taught you. Yes, sir. What the hell? Kudo, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... <laughs> He's infected. Yes. It would seem that way. No. This is crazy! Attack! Just the three of us now, Ken. You going to be stupid like the others? Or will you join us? Join you? I don't even know who you are anymore. そんなことを考えるまでもない。なるほど。忍者ブレードか。悪くはないが貴様に使えるのか。未熟者め。Let's go. Whatever.
Control, this is rescue. We've got a survivor. I detect this Kenogawa. He's alive. Losing a lot of blood. Rescue, this is Control. Don't touch the body. I repeat, do not touch the body. This blood is highly toxic. Don't come in any contact with exposed fluid. Do you copy? Yes, sir. I'll send in a hazmat crew to bring him in. Secure the area as tightly as possible. July 7, 2011. While investigating reports of unlawful weapons trafficking, peacekeeping forces encountered an unclassified carnivorous species occupying a small village in northern Africa. These rabid creatures were easily provoked and resistant to conventional attack. Eight specimens were encountered in the region now referred to as Ground Alpha. Only four were successfully contained for study. Victims of the attack were quarantined at a research facility nearby. These victims displayed signs of internal liquefaction and accelerated necrosis, similar to symptoms of other flesh-eating viruses native to that region. But it wasn't a viral outbreak. It was a parasitic infestation. A previously unidentified species of hookworm was found beneath the skin of the ground alpha specimens. These parasites, we call them alpha worms, laid dozens of eggs inside their hosts, which in turn produced numerous larvae. These larvae penetrated the bloodstream and triggered a variety of genetic failures. However, unlike most genetic failures, these symptoms were not fatal. Instead, infested victims were larger, stronger, and driven by hunger. We quickly lost control. We were left with no choice but to contain the infestation by drastic measures. To prevent widespread panic, the incident was officially reported as a nuclear weapon failure. Using the research gained from the ground alpha specimens, we quickly assembled a team of some special individuals. Minor outbreaks occurred over the next few years, but our elite squad quickly put them down. Which brings us to the current situation in Tokyo. Thousands more dead. Our troops can do nothing. Is this it? Will you bomb us too? Well, not exactly. We use a laser now. What? As we speak, a satellite-guided laser is positioning itself over Tokyo. This laser emits concentrated high-energy microwaves, capable of extreme destructive force. Its blast would purge the city of any parasitic trace, much more effective than a bomb. Unfortunately, we still haven't solved the problem of human casualties. But... my city! How could you? Look. I'm not proud of what we did before. God help me, I swore we'd never do it again. We cannot let this infection spread. Many, many more lives would be lost if it did. So, is that it? Carrier numbers are spiraling out of control, and it's true. We lost most of the team in the incident the other night. But we still have Kanogawa. He is only one man. You don't know him like I do.